hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel again i know it's been a while i don't know what to say it's already 2021 and i only posted like one video last year so anyway so today's is gonna be a quick little video because i want to review and do like the first impressions of the new ordinary concealer so this is the ordinary colors full coverage concealer so it's a high coverage formula so i just want to try it out and see what the hype is about like whether it's any good if it actually does have coverage because i do have the ordinary serum foundation and i do like this to um, mix it with my other foundations i bought this concealer off of cult beauty and it was quite cheap actually i think it was like four pounds or something like that which convert into Malaysian ringgit it's like 20 something so super cheap and it was free shipping so I got the shade 2.0 YG which is the same shade that I have in the foundation so anyways I have not opened this yet I got this like a few days ago but I wanted to do like a full first impressions so it comes in a tube like this there's eight milliliters in here and if I'm not mistaken, there's quite a lot of shades for this, like the shade range is quite good. Um, I don't remember exactly how many shades, but I'll put it up on the screen here, I guess, if I can find it. So yeah, I think I got like the light medium shade. So I got 2.0 YG, which is the yellow golden undertone. And it has this tube thing, which honestly is quite annoying and I can see how this is going to be quite annoying for concealer application so I guess I'll just put it on the back of my hand and that's what it looks like hmm, it looks like a quite decent color match for me actually it's a very thick formula oh yeah, it is very thick and very creamy I guess it's a good thing for concealer for the concealer to be like thick and creamy so that it's very full coverage so, I'm going to take off my glasses. So I'm going to first start off by priming my face. So right now, on my face, I don't have anything. I just have my skincare. And I will be priming with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I'm not actually going anywhere. I'm just staying at home all day today. So I don't really need this to like last for so long. So I'll just spray this on my face. Okay, so now I'll just take the product that I have on the back of my hand and dot it on my face and then I will use a concealer brush and also a sponge to see which type I like best. But one thing I can say though is I do notice that this has oxidized like quite a lot on my hand. Like I feel like it has gone one to two shades darker than when I put it out of the tube. Oh yeah, it has oxidized quite a lot. So this is what it looks like. Um straight out of the tube that looks super light and this is what it looks like after it oxidizes if you have used any um, ordinary foundations before and you know your shade you should probably go one or two shades lighter i guess because it's going to oxidize because yeah i do find that the foundation that i have is quite light on me and this looks like it's dark on me or at least it's my exact skin tone so that is quite interesting so anyway i will put this on my face i'm basically just gonna put it all over where i would normally put concealer because usually when i go out i do always go out not wearing any foundation i'll just wear concealer and powder so that's what i'll be doing today as well So on this side of my face, I'll be using a sponge to blend everything out. I mean, one thing I can say right off the bat is the coverage on this is pretty good. Like, as you can see, <laughs> it covered up basically everything. And I feel like I did just use a light layer, but it looks good, right? Like, it covered up everything <laughs> that's crazy yeah, i mean and it looks really nice and like dewy almost you can still see the glow on my skin and the fact that i blended it out using a sponge which you know usually would really sheer out products the fact that it still looks super full coverage even with a sponge i assume it's gonna be like super super full coverage when i blend it out with a brush so that's what we'll be trying out on this side of my face 
But just for comparison, this is what it looks like on half of my face. So now let's go in with the brush side. So the brush that I'll be using is the Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush. And I use this brush all the time for concealer. So this is what it looks like blended up with a brush on this side and as expected it looks very full coverage it looks pretty flawless actually like it looks really really good i'm very impressed so far but i do have to say that the concealer does dry down quite fast so if you were like me you put it like all over your face you do have to blend it out quite fast because it does dry down but also i think this is an extremely good color match for my face like it is a bit lighter, but I think it's just the lights that are making that is making it look even lighter. But in real life, it looks very, very similar to my actual skin tone. So that's great. And honestly, it covered up pretty much everything that I needed it to cover up. But I will just try to put an extra bit on my cheek area to see how this builds up. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not putting any on my under eyes, it's because I never wear under eye concealer because I have a lot of like wrinkles under my eyes. But I find that under eye concealer tends to really emphasize those wrinkles and it doesn't look good like after a certain period of time. So I just generally don't wear any under eye concealer. Okay, so I guess I'm done with the concealer application. And it is still like quite tacky on my skin. It hasn't dried down and I don't think it will dry down so I do have to set this down with a powder so I will be using a powder that I use all the time which is my Coty Airspun OG um, face powder so this is the translucent one so I will use this um, to set down all the concealer then I will put on the rest of my makeup and I will come back with some thoughts I guess so BRB okay hi so I'm back and I have my full face of makeup on. So I'll just wrap up my like initial thoughts and then I will come back at the end of the day with like um, a check-in I guess and see how the makeup has lasted at the end of the day. But so far, I think honestly it looks so good. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie. I mean, what do you think? Like on camera, I'm not sure how it translates, but IRL, I feel like it looks really good like my skin looks flawless and for my blush by the way i used this blush that i'm freaking obsessed with right now it's this sunny's face air blush in the shade raz so it's this very deep bright berry color and it is just chef's kiss like so good for my bronzer i'm using the milk makeup matte bronzer in the shade baked just like a super light layer and for my highlight i don't know if you can see i'm using the glossier halo scope in the shade quartz and for my eyes i just recently bought this kaja um what is it called a beauty bento so it's like this trio of three eyeshadows so i just use this top most brown eyeshadow just like all over my eyes and on my under eyes i actually just use my finger to put this on and just finished it off with eyeliner and mascara. So that's everything that I have on my face. Oh, also I have the Gleamy Glaze in the shade She's Baby on my lips. Shout out to Gleamy, support local brands. So yeah, this is how my face looks like right now. So I will set my face again with the same setting spray, the Milani Make It Last. The thing about the setting spray is you really have to put your hand like as far away from your face as you can because the spray is quite intense. But anyway, so this is how it looks like. I'm really, really happy with how it looks like, especially considering the price of this is so, so cheap. And the shade range is pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, everything's pretty good. And there's quite a lot of product in here. 8 ml is quite a lot. So yeah, that will be all for now. I'll come back in a bit at the end of the day to show you what it looks like and whether it has lasted whether I like it or not at the end of the day because right now, I love it. Like, I'm in love. I think everyone should go and get this at this point. So yeah, let's see how it lasts. So BRB!
hey guys so it's been about 10 hours i think since i put on this concealer and this is how it looks like so i it definitely looks kind of greasy obviously um i forgot to mention that i have oily skin like oily combination skin so my t-zone is can get pretty oily throughout the day yeah so you can see my t-zone especially is very shiny and also i noticed that it has really sunk into my lines like my smile lines here you see and i noticed that happening even about an hour into doing this i already noticed that that was happening so just to take note if you have very prominent smile lines or anything like that and it has also definitely rubbed away where my glasses were. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But yeah, that has definitely rubbed away, which is completely normal. I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm impressed, but it doesn't look that bad. Like, it could be worse. It could definitely have faded a lot because I was really, really sweaty earlier today because it was really hot here. And I also even took a nap and, like, everything is still there. And most times I wouldn't wear makeup for like 12 hours usually i would only wear it for like five six hours if i was going out so i think in that case it would be really nice however especially in these covid times i'm not sure how this would hold up with a mask i think it would probably transfer a lot because my face does feel kind of like sticky it's not sticky but you know like the makeup would come off if i were to wear a mask so that's not great but in terms of how it looks, I think it looks great. If you have dry skin or if you have not as oily skin as I do, then I think this would look really good, um, especially like throughout the day. And But I do have to say though, like, can you see this blush action going on? <laughs> like, my blush has not faded all day. That's why I am so in love with that Sunny's Face Air Blush. Like, it really basically tints your cheeks, which is awesome. Anyways, that's besides the point. So, yep, that is my first impression slash review of the New Ordinary Concealer. I hope this was helpful if you were looking to purchase it yourself. And yeah, so stick around for any future videos. Who knows when that will be. And see you soon, I guess. Bye. <laughs>